Hello, all my followers and subscribers out there. Tanner here, and I'm here to do another movie review. Yep, just last Friday, I reviewed the Saturday, The Bad Guys, and I just got back home from seeing the, at the another movie at the movies, and that would be Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Now, before I get on to this review, let me just ask, did anyone have a great happy May the 4th this past Wednesday? I did, because what happened earlier this morning, sorry about the squeaky noise back there, no battery on something, my mom and I will fix it, but yeah, we just, my mom had me do a little some Star Wars scavenger hunt with Star Wars riddles, and what was my prize? This. Popular trouble game version of for Star Wars The Mandalorian. I don't play much board games, but it's the thought that count. I'll play it one day. But and tomorrow is Mother's Day, so I hope you all take the time to celebrate your moms out there. And on Tuesday, I will be finishing up this semester at MCC. So, yes. So, yeah. Anyway, I just got home from seeing Doctor Strange doing the Multiverse of Madness. And I'm going to point... I don't want to give too much spoilers, but I just want to tell you that this movie was pretty good for a C. Although there wasn't really exactly a main antagonist in there. Didn't exactly have a bill. Though, it had a good story. It takes place a few months after the events of this movie, Spider-Man No Way Home. Yeah, I just wore it because the movie takes place a few months after that movie. I haven't watched it since it was in the theaters. But when the time's right, I'll probably get it because I know it's on DVD. But yeah, I thought Doctor Strange 2 was a good sequel and had a great storyline and they got Sam Raimi who directed the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies and the Disney movie Honest and Great and Powerful. So all I can say is nice work Sam Raimi, nice work. Come on, because you worked with Danny Elfman on the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man trilogy and on The Great and Powerful. And now you work together on this film. It was so darn good. I'm glad you didn't mess it up. And it has some interesting cameos. I don't I want I won't tell you who the cameos were. And apparently they all they are all from the Disney Plus Marvel show called Marvel's What If. Now, don't throw anything at this, your screens or anything because I have never watched Marvel's What If. Because it just didn't really seem that appealing to me for some reason. But yeah. I don't know. But yeah, I really thought it was a good movie. Other than that. Sorry about that beeping. But thank you guys for watching this review. Please like and subscribe. Leave your comments and I say to wrap this up. Let's all have a great Mother's Day and do something great for our moms. So see you around until next time.